Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomous coming with another video review. And today, continuing on with my 2016 BotCon reviews, we're going to be taking a look at the very first souvenir set, that being the Deluxe Class Tigatron. Now, one thing that they did differently this year at BotCon as opposed to previous years is they took all the souvenir figures and split them up. If you remember previously, a lot of these were actually packaged together so that you had to buy multiple figures in one set. That resulted in sometimes people getting you know, figures that they didn't necessarily want in order to get a figure that they did want. So splitting it up I think was a really smart idea and it allowed collectors to get just the figures that they wanted. But as you can see, like with all Bacon souvenir figures, uh, they do come in just this little baggie. We're going to open this up because I don't keep mine in the bags. I like displaying mine. So opening that and then taking that out, putting that there, throwing that out to the side. Uh, you do get the uh, tech spec card. It is a little bit uh, rounded, so let's just kind of flatten that out a little bit. You get the instructions right there on the back. And one thing that's actually really cool is that this figure as well as several of the other ones can be merged with your other Combiner War figures to create Magna Boss, which was the Autobot equivalent of Predacus in the original Beast Wars toy sort of thing. So that's really cool that they actually did that. And obviously uh, the instructions kind of show you that uh, the figures are all, you know, the Combiner War figures. So that's where they kind of draw on that from. Uh, but you do get the tech specs right here, as well as a nice bio and a really cool new artistic image of them. I really dig that. And then you got this little baggie right here, which uh, these are just taped shut. So just opening that up, flipping all this out. Come here, come here, Tigertron, get out of there. Uh, as you can see, this is a repaint and remold of that uh, Breakdown or Sunstreaker mold. Specifically, this is a, a repaint of the uh, 2016 Bakan Ravage. But the colors on this look really very good. Now, getting this stuff out of the way, I'm coming down here. Uh, much like uh, all these other Combiner War figures, you do get his weapons. Uh, this one is that uh, sword gun thing, and you got this nice blue paint on there. Uh, this is a very nice silver metallic paint on the actual foot part. Again, you can come around here. You can take this. You can peg that into the back there and then rotate that forward and you could put that on the top there much like you could with you know Sunstreaker again it's a personal preference kind of thing but getting this all tabbed together it kind of is a little bit gappy right there but uh, this is what you basically have and actually this looks really very cool I love the colors on here the white and the blue just really pop and stand out very nicely you got very nice Maximal logos right here on the side and then on that side as well uh, you got the blue highlights for his uh, headlights nice painted a grill here in the front come around here to the back nothing painted for in the tailors or anything I kind of wish that that was but just in general though the paint job on here looks really very nice very clean paint on here as well all the lines are nicely where they're supposed to be everything just looks very solid on this I like the kind of pottery blue rims that they have kind of matches with what his uh, feet color is going to be just a very nice premium color paint job on here the white's really nice as well it's not uh, as much of a white as my background is but it does have a little kind of cream color thrown in there to not be blinding white which i think looks really very nice on this guy really very very happy with how this turned out now i i played with uh, my friends uh, tigertron at bacon as you could see this was mine and i hadn't opened it yet so i really didn't get a, a real good look at it this is kind of that's probably not pushed in there all the way but i didn't get that, that great of a look at it because i didn't want to you know mess up their figures or anything but just looking at this really very nice on this guy i love that huge uh, maximal logo right there that's neat looking you know and then as a, a, a combiner you can do the whole uh, leg thing uh, because I, I don't really care much about magna boss uh, it, it's it's not that much of an issue for me to have him as magna boss I, i'm not going to really display him as a, any kind of limb or anything but uh you can see rotating that around you can create his leg very easily I think that they actually have him as a leg in that combiner form. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, all that same functionality is still there. So uh, all those different kind of uh, orientations, you know, if you want it as an arm, you can have it as an arm. If you want it as a leg, you can have it as a leg. Um, so you can get that back. Why don't you, let's see, fit that there. 
get that up there all right uh, so because we have seen the transformation on this guy multiple times i am going to go ahead and skip it if you do need any help my playlists are out there you can check those out and get the instructions that you may need but using some of that good old-fashioned movie magic we're going to go from tigertron looking like this to looking like this and as i said this is specifically a repaint with the new head of ravage that was featured in the 2016 botcon box set so if you had a problem with the way that head was you're gonna have a problem with the way this head is because it's like half a head uh it, again it, it was said that the reason that was done that way was to get it to fit in the actual the vehicle mode uh whether or not that is the case i, I don't really know i mean i i do kind of wish that there was something that they could do but like i was talking about in that ravage review this also has the same neck thing if you do modify that ravage you can modify this one as well so it is possible uh, and I think that that would help a lot. Uh, the, the half of the head hitting thing, I, you know, it doesn't bother me all that much, I don't think, because like I said, most of the time I'm going to be facing it like that. But I do see where people would have liked to have a little bit more rounded of a head. In terms of the other colors, you can see a lot more of this powder blue come out, which does look really very good. I love the blue accents on his waist, as well as the black and then the uh, light blue in there. You got some nice light blue pieces right up on there. Uh, just in general, a lot of really good paint application. It's not a lot. I, I mean, it, it's not... Uh, I don't have that all the way tabbed down. It, it's not overly painter or anything like that it's very subtly done and i think that it just works very nicely uh coming in here to take a closer look at that head sculpt though again like i said it is that same head sculpt that ravage had but you can see it has that more tigatron kind of look you got some nice blue paint on the top of his head in the inside of his ears along the side here you got some nice blue paint in his mouth area really nice dark paint for his eyes i mean i i really do like that head sculpt it's just they stop short of doing the whole thing. You come around to the back and you can see some nice molded detail on there as well. Uh, in general, it does look great. And I can't really complain too much because, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be having them looking forward like so. But I do completely understand the, the complaint about it being like a half a head. It, it, it really should be a little bit more rounded out. I think that would make a lot of people a lot more happy. But as I said in that review with Ravage, Pete Sinclair did specifically say that, you know, if he could go back and, and do things differently with this guy, he probably would, and that he didn't come out as great as some of the other figures. He still does look good, though. I, I really do think. Is it as good as the other ones? No, but, I mean, that's not really a huge fault of this guy. It's just those other ones are just really that good. But like I said, if you didn't want to get this guy, you didn't have to. He wasn't, you know, packaged with a figure that you really wanted, forcing you to get a guy that you may not have really wanted. I mean, they could have easily stuck this guy with that Megatron, forcing you to get this guy because everybody wanted Megatron. It was, it was pretty cool of a fun pub and Bakon to actually do that. Now, articulation wise, it is all the exact same. The head is on this ball joint to get a nice range of motion there. The shoulders here are on very nice tight ball joints. It can rotate at a ball joint here at the elbow, but it also has an extra elbow joint as well as that ball jointed one. So you get a double joint, mostly as part of the transformation. Uh, the waist does rotate. Hips here are on ball joints as well. Uh, I do still not really like that whole swivel thing right there. I mean, that's kind of annoying, but that's just a problem with the mold in general. Uh, rotates, yeah, I can do it if I can do it, rotates at the upper part of the thigh, bends here at the knee, and then I guess you could say that he's got a little bit of a foot pivot right there. But uh, in general, the guy did turn out pretty nicely. Uh, like I said, you can't combine him with uh, some of the other figures and some of the existing figures that you may already have in your collection to create Magna Boss specifically with using Silverbolt as a torso, they sold stickers that you could put on him to, you know, kind of round things out and make more of that Magna Boss sort of look. I know a lot of people were really excited about it. I didn't get behind it too much. Honestly, I didn't really care all that much, but it was something available to you if you guys wanted to do that. But I'm happy with the guy. I think that he looks pretty decent. And as I said, if you didn't want him, you didn't have to get him. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget to please like and comment. And be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you never miss a future review. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. You're a true